All right, we got one net to run today. Got Noah back in the boat with me. Slowed up last week. Don't know if we're gonna have much this week. I'm gonna bait up one more time. We just left one out. We don't need no more fishing that right now. We're fishing it. Move some nets to the river here anyways. This week or next week one. Still got a good mess in About all we want to dress right there ain't it? good thing about the wind direction today yeah. is it's easy to put back in there it is that's how you bait it right up against that throat drop her in all right we had a good mess today a little over probably got 40 45 something like that maybe 50 few little better ones in there today ain't bad all right we had a request a couple weeks ago in one of the comments on uh, me talking a little bit about what time of the year you can catch the fish and and how deep where you can catch them at and stuff like that so I'm gonna go through real quick and explain a little bit about that um, a lot of that depends on the amount of rainfall we get the current that's in the water whether it be a lake or river and the temperatures of the water but typically the months are real similar like December and January by December we've had enough cold fronts to push all the shad to the channel and a lot of the catfish and white perch and things like that are over the channels they're in the deeper water so here on Darbone like a lot of the flats and stuff like that it's anywhere from five to the sloughs will run 15 20 foot deep some of them but the channel is the deepest part so it takes longer for that water to warm up or hold i mean to cold cool down and warm up it'll hold temperatures more steady than the shallows will so november october november we go to getting about two good cold fronts here in north louisiana all these shad will go over this channel to deeper water deep holes wherever there's a deep hole in the lake that's what they'll go to and all you catfish and stuff like that's going to do the same thing and catfish which is what we after get dormant in the winter time goes getting kind of november december january they'll go to get dormant and and get down in that deep water and just kind of lay there they don't feed a lot they'll feed a little bit but they don't move a lot but the thing is it's easier to catch them that time of the year because all the fish in the whole lake are right there in the middle of the channel so it's a good time to fill your freezer up and catch fish like this in these wire nets we're running one wire net put minimal bait in it seven eight days we're coming you know catch anywhere from three or four hundred fish to fifty you know which is a good mess that's all we needed we had a little uh, rise in fresh water this week and it changed up things a little bit and we had an extreme cold front which kind of shut them fish down warming back up a little bit we might have another good catch next week we just have to see and if it warms up very much these fish will move back out of the deepest part of the channel up into the edge of the channel so you may go from like 30 feet to like uh probably into february and march these fish will come up in the edges and instead of fishing 30 foot right in the middle of the channel we'll fish 15 to 20 up on the edges of the channel or just out of the channel on the edges so december january rule of thumb deepest water you can find in in the lake or the river in the river uh, in any river or creek right in the middle pretty much or, or if it drops off comes over like this in that deepest part on that edge a lot of times where the current's coming around that edge places like that 
February, March, end of February, March, it goes along with your crappie go to spawning at certain temperatures, the water's warming up, catfish are gonna move up on the flats a little bit, they're spawning, they're a little, but you go through a phase where they're a little hard to catch there, but you can still catch some. Uh, you can catch them in a net 12 months out of the year. It's just, if you go to hoop nets, you need some current or either you gotta stretch them open. And certain times of the year when they really slow down, like hot summer, you may have to actually bait some. Um, so we've covered through to February. Now, Jan March, end of March into April, May, and about halfway through June, at least in our area of the country, which is pretty much South Arkansas, Mississippi, um, and Louisiana, that area, these fish go to moving up to spawn. And uh, right here, the, the flatheads go to spawning around the, the 1st of April through about mid-June, around mid-April, really. But we'll start catching them in hoop nets a little bit deeper than they spawn um, around the end of March. So end of March, we're fishing sloughs. We're fishing about 15 to 20 foot of water up to as shallow as 12. You got to move them around. You sit out four or five nets, you want to set them up a little different so you, then you know which one you're catching in, you know how to move all of them to that location, or you know, to a similar spot. So then April, end of April, May and June, those fish, the flatheads and the, the blues as well and channels are gonna move pretty shallow. They'll come up as shallow as three or four foot and spawn, even shallower. So at that time, of course, we can't put our hoop nets at three, in three foot of water or they'll be exposed and you'll catch a lot of turtles, but we'll start fishing hoop nets around eight foot, 10 to eight foot, anywhere from really 12 to eight, but, but as they go to spawn and heavier, we'll shallow up to about eight foot of water, um, not over 10 in lakes and in rivers, same, may fish a little bit deeper in the river because we got current but typically it'll be between eight and 15 foot of water in any current um, in streams like creeks or rivers where we got channels that are 20 foot or deeper. We'll be fishing that upper edge of those and those, those drop offs. So that gets us through to June. Now June, um, mid June, the catfish coming out of the spawn. That's when typically we, if we want fish, and we need to catch some, we're gonna go from hoop nets to wire nets, back to wire nets around the middle of June. Now, as it heats up into the end of June, July, and August, into those months, and on into September, you go to getting a thermocline in these lakes and things. And if rivers get stagnant, you may get a thermocline in a river also. Um, and if the current dies out, even in a river, if, if you still got current in a river, you still fish a hoop net a little bit. You're just gonna have to start running more regular, um, especially around the 1st of June when it goes to warming up. You go to hit some 90 degree days, you're gonna have to run every four or five days. If you don't, you're gonna have dead turtles, you're gonna have dead fish, and you're gonna have problems. So we'll start running a little more regular. You, you won't be able to go seven days. Um, and the, the Fishing's gonna be a little bit different. In the river, a lot of times, we would use to bait with either range cubes or cottonseed milk cake. Cottonseed milk cake's hard to come by now. Used to, you could pick it up at any co-op. Um, but you can bait with cheese for blues and channels all through the summer. You can fish these wire nets in a river or creek in the summertime. You'll move them more toward the, the deeper water. You still have current, so you'll still have some oxygen. Now in the, uh, if you don't have any oxygen around the mouth of creeks and things like that, you might try hanging them. Or if you got trees out on the edge of the deep water, you might try hanging them like we do in the lake. In the lakes, we're gonna hang those baskets um, either by stump, channel markers, something to where those baskets are up in the water column in as much oxygen as we can get them baskets in. And that's where we'll catch these, these uh, whole fry size channel cats, these smaller channel cats, from June, mid-June through, really through the middle of October. Um, 
You could catch them deep. You put a net deep, it'll fill up with them. 48 hours, every one of them will be dead um, because they're just not in the oxygen down. You cannot hold those fish down deep. Creeks and rivers, that's a little bit different. You got four or five days, maybe, you know, depending on what your fish are doing, your net's going to tell you when you got to run. Now, as we come back into October, if you want to catch channel cats and blues, so October, as the water goes to cooling down, you go get some cool fronts, you would go back to fishing the edges of the channel again, um, at least in, in the lake, in, in a lake like where we're at, or a river, either one. There again, you'd go to moving back up toward the edge instead of out in the middle. Um, those fish will start running the edges of current, any cool snap, you got shad moving back to the channel, getting closer to it, and uh, that's where the bait is, that's where the fish are gonna go. So then from, so I'm gonna say, and it, that could be anywhere from mid-September, depending on cool snaps, on into uh, about the first of November, we'll be trying to hang those baskets on the edge of the channel, instead of just out in sloughs and stuff now. That's the thing in summertime, I didn't say that a while ago, but in the midsummer, like in this lake, we won't be hanging these baskets just on the edge of the channel. We'll be hanging them out in the flats and sloughs from June to, uh, from pretty much June, mid-June through mid-September to the end of September, we'll be fishing these wire nets out in sloughs, like away from the channel. Um, or out on the flats, if the flats are 15 to 20 foot deep, same deal. We may be fishing them out there like that. So then we'll get back into November. About November, that's when we go to fishing the inner edge of the channel, or the, the edge of the channel. Um, you can catch some, some flatheads in that uh, pretty much from October into about the end of November, first week in December. And then normally here in North Louisiana, by the first, second week of December, you're right back on these channel cats in the deep water again. We could have caught them earlier this year. We're just hunting that time of the year and we don't put out a lot of nets. So bottom line is you can catch fish in these nets year round. You can keep fresh fish. You can keep a few fish in your freezer. Um, it's not a problem. You just got to do a little work and figure it out. If you don't catch, you move them. You know, same stuff I've done for years. If you don't catch, you move to a new location, try it, try it a different way. But something will always work. We're gonna get out of here, get home, dress these fish, get some fish clean for supper. That's gonna be it for this one. God's Country Hunting Fishing, keeping it real.